Hey guys, this is Wave618. It's the 20th of May 2019. We've just gone 8 p.m. BST. In today's video, we're going to do an update on Bitcoin. I'll quickly run through my long term frame, um, my long time frame uh, account, which has been this major WXY. But what we're really going to be focusing on in today's video is the short term price action. The main questions on everyone's mind is are we going to break? Uh, is price ever going to come below? this point again or are we just going to shoot up from here it looks like we're consolidating at present how long is that going to last and what will our um, short-term targets to the upside be once price does break out above this 8300 level so a few very important questions to be covered in today's video if you're interested stay tuned All right, guys, let's get started. So as I say, we're going to talk about the long term count, first of all. Now, just before I jump into this, I'm going to very briefly mention that I've decided to start up a new group. I've mentioned it briefly in previous videos, but I've launched it today. Um, I'm going to do a separate video after this video explaining about it in more depth. But just so that you know where you can find out more information, if you head over to my website, wave618.com, you'll be able to find it here. It's called Cryptology. It's uh, £50 a month, includes um, a weekly cryptocurrency update, looking at the top 15 market cap cryptocurrencies. You'll get Discord access, and you'll also get uh, my work's educational course, which is worth £399. However, modules are released on a uh, four daily basis, over the course of three months, after three months, you'll have full access to the course. Uh, obviously, you'll only have access to this online course while subscribed. And um, yeah, if you click on the, the product, you can then see a bit more information about what's involved. And here, so essentially you get your weekly technical analysis video. On top of that, within the Discord, there'll be a specific group for Cryptology members where I'll give any ad hoc updates where I feel that an update is needed between these uh, weekly videos. And yeah, obviously Discord access as well as the works educational course, which is essentially everything that I've learned in trading. Uh, it's 20 hours of video footage. Most of the modules include PDF content also. And um, yeah, you can find if you scroll down to the bottom, what is exactly involved within the course. Uh, the course has been really well received. Um, got lots of people within the Discord sharing their analysis with one another based on what they've learned from the uh, from the course. And yeah, so you're essentially going to have access to that as well. Here you can see what is involved. So essentially, it's not just technical analysis, but we also talk about uh, money management, trade management, trading psychology, understanding the game, putting and then my strategy explained at the very end. We talk a little bit about fundamentals as well, macroeconomics and catalysts. Um, and then it's designed for entry level traders all the way through to advanced technical analysis traders. So you can see right at the start, I talk about what is trading. We talk about how you can go about um, getting started in trading. So essentially that's where it all is. As I say, there'll be a more detailed video uh, after this but so let's get started on Bitcoin so um, here is the long-term count so we've been I've labeled this you know if you've been watching my videos previously it's a large W X Y um, in fact let's pull up the daily it's a bit more clear so this was our three waves down W and then we had our descending triangle A B C D E and then our Y wave was a further three waves down. This allowed us to draw our pitchfork. This is a shift pitchfork. First pivot at the top of W, second pivot end of W, and third pivot at the end of X. And so what the significance is with these pitchforks is when the warning line gets broken, it suggests the, the downward trend has been uh, finalized. So I've been, I had spoken about since I think it was at this point, I did a video back in August uh, 2018, where I said that 
you know, I've been looking out for a break of this line for me to change my uh, bias from bearish to bullish. And that's essentially what I did at this point. And you can see price turn parabolic at this point. Um, now, obviously, the, the key thing to, we all want to know is where price is going to go from here. So just zooming in. So here we it looks you know pretty impulsive, this move up here. Corrective looking price action here. So I think it's safe to call this wave one and wave two. And then this is all fitting very nicely within one pitchfork. We can see five waves up, one, two, three, uh, regular flat, four, and then a fifth parabolic wave up to here. So just using our Fibonacci relationships here between wave one and wave three, we come pretty much to the 4.236 extension, which is a, an important Fibonacci uh, relationship. So I'd be happy to call this a wave one, two, and wave three finishing here, with us now being in wave four. Now, of this wave four, let's have a look how far we've retraced. So if we use our Fibonacci retracement tool, start it from bottom of wave three, extend it to the top of wave three, you can see here, this is our 0.382 here. So we've retraced to the 0.382 very nicely. At that point, we saw aggressive price action to the upside. So what was the reason for that? Well, first of all, there's a huge amount of volume traded at this level at around 6,300 to 6,400. <clears throat> so we can see going across the chart, this level acted as excellent support for a very long time. And so um, the bulls were defending this level um, significantly. And of course, on the, um, on the Bitcoin futures chart, there was a major gap fill at this level also. Uh, so another technical indicator for why we saw a strong reversal to the upside. So uh, now we're looking, we're obviously, we're waiting to see how this wave four will play out. Now, wave two was quite a long duration. Yeah, and it pulled back quite a lot. So, I mean, let's, let's have a look how far wave two retraced of wave one. So... So we hit the 0.786, that's a pretty deep retracement. So with Elliott Wave, we generally see alternation between wave four and wave two in terms of duration and the degree of the retracement. So uh, so we've already checked wave four. So that was a 0.382. So you could say with this being a deep retracement, this is a reasonable shallow retracement for wave four at the 0.382. Um, so there's a lot of reason to think that this could be mark out the bottom of our wave four. Now there's multiple ways that a, a correction pattern can happen. I did post this tweet just uh, yesterday and um, basically just showing with our parabolic price action throughout 2018, um, or sorry, 2017, we basically saw various different correction patterns play out. So here starting us off, we saw nice big parabolic price action and then we saw what looks like, you could argue it's a uh, converging triangle or symmetrical triangle rather. Uh, and there's another argument you could call it an ascending triangle with the top being looking pretty flat with the highs being at a pretty flat level, but very clear higher lows coming in. So we've got a possible ascending triangle here. Then we've got a zigzag, so aggressive move down, consolidation, and then another aggressive move down. Then we've got a running flat, so uh, aggressive move down, slow move up, and then another aggressive move down, and zigzag again, and then we get an expanded flat, which often catches people out. So we get an initial sell-off, then we get higher highs, and then we get a sell-off that you know retraces even further than the initial sell-off. So often catches people out. But what you can see time and time again, uh, let's actually look at it on. The actual chart here you can see with these retracements they generally retrace to where price consolidated prior so you can see the retracement here where did it come down to it came down to these previous highs yeah and again this price action here where did it come down to it came down to this horizontal support essentially previous highs of the previous um, retracement and again where did price come down to here? Came down to 
the previous high. Obviously on this correction we didn't come down as far. Why? Because we got very aggressive parabolic action to the upside and so we're not seeing as steep retracements. Uh, but here again another retracement and where did it come down to? It came down to the previous high. So I think it's quite reasonable to say that within pra parabolic price action we generally see the retracements come down no further than the previous the, the you know the, the ceiling of the previous consolidation um, now that said looking at this if we just clean up the chart a little bit obviously our last previous consolidation you could say it was at this level but I think we have to take into consideration this consolidation here there's a that that, that was terrific or even yeah, at this point here, you can see it acted as significant support. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to act as significant um, support here for Bitcoin to take off, essentially. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of sideways price action from here. And at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if it just shot up because we're in what looks like parabolic price action here. However, um, yeah, there are a number of ways that this correction can play out. So um, let's look on the 15 minute chart. So this is the, the pitchfork that was uh, we found the top of here. So what happened? It looks like we had three waves come down and then three waves up. Now to me, if we're going to do an Elliott wave count, there's various ways you can look at it. The main way um, it stands out to me is this would be your A wave and yeah I'd probably say this is A, B and it's difficult to call it to be honest. Probably say this is your initial five wave impulse, then a correction, and then a one, two, three, four, five waves up. Um, so an ABC up to here. Now, as I say, we could have an, an ascending triangle play out. That's uh, one scenario. So let's just label that. So this, if this is A, this is our B. C could come down. So here, D, E, so you can get something like that. Okay, now C could come down even lower. Yeah, so you could get a, a triangle playing out. Okay, the other alternative is you could just get a regular flat playing out. So we could have, if this is our wave A, then B up to here, and then C, comes down to retest this uh, this significant support level down here and the, and basically you get a three three five subwave count so you'd expect an impulsive aggressive uh, move down here with the the C wave of a regular flat and there alternatively we could see price pushing higher and see an expanded flat so we could see uh, an A B C come down even lower but as I say I think price is going to require a lot of energy to break this 6300 and so that's why I wouldn't really be looking at that type of scenario um, but yeah if I was to choose a way in which it's going to play out I'd probably be looking at a, an ascending triangle at present that's probably how I'd expect price to play out so as I say um, with this A B, C, D, E. That's probably my preferred count at present. But you've got to be mindful. There's many ways it can play out now. Okay, so I think price is really going to struggle to come lower than this. I really do. That said, it can certainly happen. And, um, and it can even break this pitchfork. Because this pitchfork, if we zoom out now, this pitchfork was only for the wave 3 okay this is for wave three wave four can easily 
it's a, it's a new wave it can easily break out of this pitchfork okay and I was initially looking for price to come down and retest this upper warning line however just really due to the dramatic move in price action at this point off 6300 all the way up to equal highs here I'm struggling to see how price is now going to come down lower and retest this uh, upper warning line okay but initially until we saw price come up and test you know make equal highs I was thinking that was a viable scenario uh, now yeah I think price is going to struggle to come down lower than here and in terms of where price is going to go up from here well let's go on our daily So obviously 8300 was a key level uh, and the next key level that I've got is around 9400. A lot of people are looking at this top here as the next key level, that's around 9900. Um, but I think uh, when we pulled up our volume profiles, I think it, there was a big transition between the high and low volume at 9400. So at this point here, there was a big sell-off, in, in, well, big transition in the volume. And it's those transition points where you get a sudden switch from high to low. That's essentially a level where price is um, getting rejected. So that, that came in at around 9,400. So that's the next target I'll be looking at. And then, but that is a very modest target because, as I say, if this is wave one, two, three, Wave four has come down to here. You know, wave five is typically the more parabolic move. You know, I, I'd certainly expect us to be really testing uh, 11,500. So it would be these highs here, 11,500 11, to 11,700, around those levels. I think that would be a more reasonable target. Um, but yeah, initial... Uh, depending on how you're trading this if you're investing then probably uh, I mean I wouldn't be taking profits if I was investing at this uh, 9400 uh, but um, yeah if you're day trading it certainly you would want to probably consider taking profits around that level and yeah but um, for me a more reasonable target would be that 11 11 500 level that's the level that I'm looking at um, <clears throat> from there we have to reassess because that could potentially be five waves up and we could be due for a, a, a relatively big retracement um, before we see higher highs once more but yeah that's the way I'm looking at it obviously I'm looking at this as a wave four there's many ways in which it can play out my preferred count is that ascending triangle and uh, my next early target is around 9400 with a more reasonable target I think would be around 11,500 and we really want to see this level hold this 6300 considering this spike in price action off that level if we come down lower I would not be surprised if we test this upper warning line however as I say I don't think that is likely now that we've seen this aggressive move off this level um, all right, so I think that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to mention in this video. Um, just in my Discord, we've been following a few different uh, alts, so there's a few others that have been looking very, very good. So, I mean, Ripple's looking, it's broke this <clears throat> descending pitchfork here. This is an inside pitchfork. Price was kept within the upper warning line on several occasions here, here, here. Here, and then it broke out to the upside with a rather aggressive looking candle uh, could easily retest this upper warning line but yeah ripple is looking excellent uh, ethereum so this was an excellent pitch for kia your price was respecting all of the levels uh, on numerous occasions uh, price stayed confined within this pitchfork for a long time then it broke out and i've got this new pitchfork to the upside now and what I like about Ethereum is that we're hovering close to this lower warning line, which I believe will act as support. So there's a potential, the upside on Ethereum looks much greater than on Bitcoin. And it's for that reason that I've created uh, this new cryptology group where we put a focus on cryptos because we're going to, I expect much bigger gains to be made 
in alts than in Bitcoin, uh, which we all know from previous experience. But um, yeah, so I, basically what I've done is I've analyzed using my technical analysis, the top 15 alts, which are listed down the side, obviously that can change with time. Um, but yeah, that's what is going to be done on a weekly basis to determine which alts are looking most favorable um, from a buying uh, perspective. But uh, obviously, yeah, we'll keep an eye out to see how things play out. I think we'll wrap it up there, guys. As I say, I'll be bringing out a video shortly explaining what the course, uh, what the group will involve in a bit more detail. All right, so we'll wrap it up. Take care, guys.